look at those colors. Dang, look at those colors. I just love my screensaver. But I'm honestly getting kind of bored with it already. So, I'm pretty sure you guys are getting bored with this too. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your screensaver. And it's actually extremely, extremely easy. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop that. We're going to go ahead and right click on the desktop. We're going to go ahead and personalize this thing. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go into screensaver. Alright, now Windows 7 has a bunch of different screensavers that we could choose. We could click none, which is just going to give us nothing. Not really fun. We got 3D text. That allows us to put whatever it is that we want. We got blank. Black. Sucks. And there's bubbles. Basically a bunch of bubbles will be popping up on your screen. There's pretty much like a lot of things that you could do. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose Mystify. Because I've always liked this effect for some reason. And I think it's been around even since like the Windows XP days. Now unfortunately, these are like the only screensavers that you can choose on Windows 7. But there's a lot more that you could get from like third party software. And if you guys want, we'll probably make a video about it. And you know what? Just because we love y'all, we'll make this video very, very soon. So, I'm gonna go ahead and click Mystify. I'm gonna go ahead and click Apply. And now I'm gonna click OK. Alright. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and wait for one minute. And, uh, I don't know, maybe go to the restroom or something so that we can see their brand new screensaver. Or if you guys don't feel like going to the restroom right now, we can go ahead and just go back and you are a very, very special little screensaver. So we're going to go back to the screensaver part that we did before and we're going to go ahead and click preview. And this is exactly what it's going to look like. Once you leave your computer all by its lonesome in like the little forever alone corner over there, this is the screensaver that's going to pop up. Okay. Also, if you go to settings. This one doesn't really have anything, so it's not going to work. So that was a bit of a fail. But if you go to 3D text, you go to settings, you'll be able to put custom text on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put hail to or ha 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 ha, whatever it is. I don't know why I'm thinking faster than I could type. It's weird. And we could change the resolution from low to high, small to large, and the rotation speed from slow to fast. So let's go ahead and make like a crazy looking screensaver right now. We're gonna go ahead and choose a custom texture. Or not. We can go ahead and do a little reflection. You can pretty much customize the screensaver to do whatever the heck it is you want it to do. It's all on you. So make it personal. So let's go ahead and apply and click preview. And as you can plainly see, it's spinning around in a very circular looking windmill looking motion. Alrighty. So if you choose a solid color, go ahead and preview, and voila, same thing. Go into settings again, high resolution, we can even get to choose the font. And if you guys saw that other video that we made, we showed you guys how to install some pretty awesome custom fonts. So if you guys have some crazy custom fonts that you want to put in here, go ahead and do them on here. Go ahead, click apply, my friend, and let's preview. Now the font's changed. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and click OK. So, those are just one of the many things that you could do while editing your screensaver. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to change your screensaver, and we would like to know exactly what kind of crazy screensavers that you can put. If you guys have ideas for people, go ahead and write them in the comments below. And go ahead and check out our millions of other computer tutorials while you're at it. Because we have a lot, and there's going to be a lot more coming your way very soon.